the tie advanced once again has come apart on us. But not to worry, I put this together four, five, six times already. We'll get it together again. Hello and welcome to Low Bricks. This is our Lego Star Wars UCS Trench Run Mock. And today we need to finish the sidewalls. And we are in the last three episodes. We have to do the sidewalls this week and next week. Then we have our special last minute edition, which I think it's safe to say is guns, cannons. You gotta have more guns. Also joining us today is Josh Lind, the actual designer of the UCS Trench Run. And he is gonna be doing a mock inspection just like he did in Hoth to make sure everything is ship shape. No pun intended, see, get it? All the UCS ships. All right, that's enough. So before we get started, make sure you give us a like, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see the final two episodes after today. And think about joining our Discord channel because we're gonna be talking about this mock, future mocks, all kinds of things. We have a really good community in there, so check that out. So with that, let's strip down these sidewalls. Let's get building. All right, so when I built these sidewalls, I did something really stupid. Leaky stupidity is what I call it. See how they're all bulging and fleshing out? Well, there's nothing to attach to the back. And this is easily solved. All we need to do is buy some really thin board that we can put over this, that we can mount our plates, our giant gray base plates too. We also got four more base plates inbound, so we can kind of finish off that. So first things first, let's get the paneling to mount to the frames. So we have some to attach the gray base plates to. So off to Home Depot I go to get some pegboard. This was the cheapest stuff I could find. And now that we have our pegboard, I need to attach this to the sidewalls, which I have removed from the mock. But in the process of removing the sidewalls from the mock, there was a tragedy. The tie advanced once again has come apart on us. But not to worry, I put this together four, five, six times already. We'll get it together again. So next we have to remove the gray Lego panels from the frames so we can put our new pegboard on. But before we do that, we decided to take this opportunity to fix up some stuff that has been broken on the mock. So Josh Lynn, our mock inspector and Discord moderator is going to uh, do some cleanup, some uh, minor repairs, some maintenance on the mock so it can be in perfect order for the finale, which will not include repairing this uh, tragedy here. That's on me, that's on Leaky. I gotta fix this. Mock inspector on the scene, doing some minor modifications, repairs, what have you to the X-Wings. So Josh, you were, you were telling me that this, this goes together pretty easily, the X-Wing. Yeah. It's a very elegant design, elegant build. What have you been doing to my ship? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Leakey wants to know what you've been doing to my basement. There's only one place we can house the Death Star. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Low Brick Studios. That actually looks better. Is that stable on that base? Yeah. I kind of like having those pointed forward like that because you don't, from the front, you don't see the stand as much. This is your annual. The mock inspection is already paying dividends. Oh yeah. The uh, the complete engine rebuild of Red Three, a uh, Red Two. <laughs> After Porkins. Uh, they salvaged that off the surface of the Death Star. Yeah. Let's see. So there's definitely been some X-Wing uh, damage. Oh, nothing the Rebel Alliance can't handle. <laughs> should talk to those Imperials over there. Yeah. Hey, where's the advanced TIE fighter? Oh yeah, there it is. Ah! Sorry, Legend, once again, the custom Lego had some issues. So Josh, based on our experiences with this mock, would you say that Lego design things are more sturdy or custom design things are more sturdy? Uh, I'm going with Lego. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for that too. 
in the comments, uh, let us know what you guys think. Are custom built more sturdy or Lego more sturdy? Fixing up the X-Wings before we go to the final stages of the mock. Wedge is a little overdue for a service there. While the mock inspector does his thing, I'm gonna be taking off the gray panels off the side panels so we can apply our particle board that you saw me at Home Depot getting. So I'm gonna get these panels off of the frames, put the wood on, and we're gonna finish the side panels. All right, now that the Emperor has hired better construction workers, we're now going to put this pegboard onto our frame and then we will reapply the, uh, the panels. So uh, mock inspector Josh, you wanna do the, the honors? Sure. All right, here is the improvement, way better. One big solid piece for the sidewall. It'll make a nice fitting for the Lego plates. So now we're gonna build the second sidewall and then we'll start adhering the plates. Mock inspector, how does it look? Uh, it's definitely more stable. More stable, yes. Before, I don't think it was entirely stable. No. No. It was quite like assistant. <laughs> assistant is not stable. Boy, that TIE fighter was right up against there. She might have to go in a little bit. Well, future Leaky's problem. All right, we got the other sidewall done. Now we gotta mount some plates. One down and one to go. All right, we got both walls up. The left side completely decorated, the right side a little more decorating to do, but it looks pretty damn good. We did have a casualty with the tie advanced, but actually look, it's, it's all fixed. It's good as new, it's amazing. And I think we're gonna have one last walk around by the mock inspector, Josh Lynn, while he's still here. So uh, Josh, uh, because we only got two weeks left after this, so it's speak now or forever hold your uh, pieces. Uh, well, the walls definitely seem to be better. Um, thanks to a little help of um, screws and uh, particle board. So far, so good. So Josh, the X-Wings were your idea. How do they look compared to what you imagined against the base of the trench? Well, they actually look just as good as I'd imagined. I trust no one but Little Brick Studios to make, <laughs> to make an entire studio scale trench run for them. You're a wise man. All right, that is gonna do it for this week. We have two episodes left. We are in the final three, and we have some more wall work to do. And next week, we have our special edition, which are the guns. Gotta have some guns. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm Leaky Trooper. I'm out of here. Bye.